What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shiner Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Gengar in the BDSP Coliseum. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Seriously, just hit that subscribe button, click that little notification bell, and you'll get notifications every time I upload, which is pretty much every day. So if you guys are looking for a consistent YouTuber, I got you guys. I got you guys. But like I said, we're using Gengar today, and I'm starting to get more BDSP Pokemon. So if you guys have any requests of Pokemon that you guys want to see me use in BDSP, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm starting to get people to trade me more Pokemon so I can get a different variety of team going. We're starting off with Gengar. Have not used this in BDSP yet, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview, rocking out with the one and only Gengar. We got the Focus Sash alongside with the Curse Body ability, and then his EVs are chilling right here. Special Attack and Speed, it's made to just... Just get after the battle. Let's maybe just do some big damage and uh, outspeed a lot of Pokemon. Move set for this guy is going to be Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball, both for Stab, and then we got Protect and Energy Ball for our coverage move. So I really like this Pokemon. He's mainly just a big beast of a special attacker. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Support Club Fable over here. We got Follow Me, we got Moon Blast, we got Calm Mind and Safeguards. Basically there to allow other Pokemon to set up while uh, this thing just soaks up shots. So we can kind of just sit there with Gengar, get off some big damage. I also have Gyarados on the team. We can set up a Dragon Dance. I also got Titar. We can roll out with him. We just got a lot of different options with this Cliff Fable being a great support mod. We got Unaware as stability, and then the item that it is holding is going to be those lovely little leftovers to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Gyarados. Gyarados is money in BDSP. He is so good, super, super strong. We gave him the Lumberry alongside with the, obviously the Intimidate as its ability, and then we're rocking Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance, Protect, which is a fairly normal, normal moveset for any Gyarados. Next up, we got Glyscore, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in BDSP. Actually, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I gotta throw it in the top 10 category. It is just so cool. It's just so cool. Like, look at that thing. Look at that thing. We got Swords Dance. We got EQ, Roost, and Facade. You guys seen me use this before with the Poison Heal ability alongside with the Toxic Orb as item. So, you know, once we get that Poison Roll, we're just gonna be getting a bunch of HP at the end of every single turn. And then we can also do some big damage if we get off a nice lovely Swords Dance. Plus, it is fully invested in, like, bulkiness as ZBs. Like, look at that. Defense and HP. It's ready to play. It came to play today. So I uh, cannot wait to use this guy and get mulling with him yet again. Next Pokemon is going to be our lovely little Titar over here. And Titar is just a beast. He's got the Sand Stream to pair up with that uh, Glyscore. You know, Glyscore can chill in the Sand Stream. And then we gave it the Life Orb as an item to make it do more damage. We're rocking Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide, which is a great move set for T Titar. Two stab moves, one setup move, and Protect for our final move. Final Pokemon on the squad. I believe it's the final Pokemon. We got Ambipom over here. Ambipom is a great little fake out mod really really fast and can do big damage due to its ability what is it technician yeah we got technician on this thing alongside with the silk scarf so it really works well with its normal moves so fake out can do a decent amount of damage double hit does a crazy amount of damage then we got u-turn to pivot out and aerial ace as your nice little coverage move but guys there's the squad there's the team we're rocking with today let's hop into that coliseum let's grab you guys some wins our first opponent is rocking with a weird squad. I do not know what to expect with this one because he has the Golduck, the Magikarp, and the Magnemite, which are like three Pokemon that can't really do too much unless they're like an Endivore kind of Pokemon. Actually, Magnemite could be. It does have Sturdy. It does have Sturdy, so I gotta watch out for that. But I don't think Psyduck and Magikarp's kind of chilling there. But Empoleon, Golduck, and Mew. Three very strong Pokemon. Definitely gotta watch out for them. So I'm not gonna take our opponent lightly. I feel like he might have a few tricks up his sleeve. Kind of scaring me a little bit, but I'm going to lead the Gengar. We're going to get ripping with that. I could also lead the Ambipom. I do like the Gengar here. You know, Gengar with the Energy Ball coverage move. I do dig it. I do dig it. I could go Ambipom or I could go Clefable. I think I'd rather go Ambipom just because he has that uh, Empoleon. I'm going to lead Ambipom for Fake Out, kind of get rolling from there, and then not bring Gyarados just for the sheer fact is like he has, uh, he has what's it called? Defiant maybe on Empoleon, but I might have to bring the Gyarados. Gyarados isn't looking too bad because, you know, Golduck and the Empoleon are looking scary. Towards my Glasgow and Titar. So I'm gonna go Gyarados, and then last but not least, it's probably Titar, right? Titar's type nice. I could go with the defensive bulk Glasgow, but I just feel like going in with Titar would be a little bit better for us. So I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it down. Hopefully, my boy Gengar can just carry the squad and we can get started off here in BDSP with a big old win with Gengar. But like I said, y'all, getting new Pokemon for BDSP. Definitely gonna be a lot of fun. So if you guys got Pokemon, I think I already said it in the beginning. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see certain Pokemon. We're gonna go Ambipom alongside with uh Gengar, and I'm just gonna send an energy ball this way and just fake out uh, the, little, the little penguin over here. I'm gonna fake out the little penguin over here. So he did start off with a nice little lead. He's got a strong Pokemon out and about, and he's ready to play. He's ready to play. So fake out's coming out here. We should have speed, no problem. We have two very fast Pokemon. Look at that fake out damage. Little Amipom coming in hot. Gengar's gonna do a great amount of damage with this energy ball. We love it, and just 
Mwah. See you later, duck. See you later, duck. Get him on out of here. Get that duck on out my game. We don't want him here. We made a flinch. He's probably gonna send out Mew at this point. Unless he's going with that with that Magnemite thing. Like I said, I don't want to take him lightly because I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared he has some tricks up his sleeve. Could be a problem. Yeah, yo, Magnemite coming out here. He's coming out here. I do have Focus Ash, which is nice. Um, at this point, I could just uh, straight up Shadow Ball. What do I want to do here? I could U-turn Pivot as well. I'm thinking of just Shadow Balling here, seeing how much damage we can do, and just U-turn it out onto the Magnemite. And rolling out from there. So yeah, I'm out of here. I'm going to U-turn out. I'm going to say Amy Palm, get back here. I'm going to say Amy Palm, get back here. And I could have doubled down into him, which could have been a play. Which could have been a play, just in case he's an Endivore kind of guy. But at this point, I could go into T-Tar. Uh, what do we think Empoleon's going into? I think Empoleon's going to die here, right? I'm just going to roll into T-Tar. I think Empoleon might die to the Shadow Ball. Honey, yo, Gengar can do some damage. Gengar can do some damage. He's a glass cannon. I always say that all the time. He's a glass cannon, meaning he can hit like a truck, but he cannot take hits for nothing. So Shadow Ball's coming out here. My boy Gengar getting, getting ready to rip up. Take him out, please. We do not, but still, big old damage. He's going to go for a Bubble Beam. He Bubble Beam me. I love me a good old Bubble Beam. He's going to chip up some damage on the Gar, and Gar's taking... Oh, I think it's a mean damage. We don't want Gar to die. We got Cursed Body, so no more Bubble Beam. That's ripping. And this thing's just going to go for an Electro Ball. Okay. How much damage is this really going to do? Nothing. Okay, so I think... Now I'm thinking, like, Magnemite's just a filler Pokemon. I'm thinking Magnemite is just a filler Pokemon. And I can just go for a Shadow Ball. KO you if it's just a filler and just Rock Slide Cross or Crunch. I'm just going to Crunch. That's my play. That's my play. This match is pretty much a wrap. So easy first battle for us. We're rolling out strong. Hopefully our second battle, you know, we can find like a, a full team. Go up against a, a good opponent. And get rocking with that. Because I want to show off this Gengar to its fullest potential. Really good Pokemon. Oh, it's ripping Aqua Jet. It is ripping Aqua Jet. I did do a nice little chunk of damage. I thought he was going to take out my Gengar with that. But now Crunch flies through here. We're going to say bye-bye to Pippi. Pippi, get on out of here. And then the Shadow Ball, if this Magnemite is not like invested in EVs or anything, should really just get absolutely massacred by this, right? Shadow Ball coming in hot. Good, Gengar. Take him out. Tell him to go home. There you go. Get him on out of here. That's GG. That is going to be GG. So he has one more Pokemon left, which I ha if I had to guess, it's going to be the Mew. And I'm just going to rip him into Mew. Mew's done it. If Mew comes out on the field, it's dead. No problem. We got my T-Tar and we got my Gengar. We got them both ripping. We got them both ripping. Let's see. And he didn't even bring them. He didn't even bring the Mew. What is going on? It's just Psyduck. It's just Psyduck. So I'm just going to Energy Ball it. Can you cancel the battle, please? I'll drag it in. Just have some fun with this one. But uh, yeah, Energy Ball will take it out in one shot. Imagine this thing's Focus Ash and he ends up taking out my Pokemon. And we don't. What's it called? I'm surprised that's faster than my Gengar. Kind of odd. Kind of want to see the speeds after this off screen. <laughs> that's a little weird. But yeah, imagine this thing's Focus Ash and he takes away my sweep. Energy Ball comes out here, Psyduck, he's gone. Like I said, easy first battle. I don't know what this person's doing in the Coliseum with that one. Let's hop into a second battle. Look for a second win and a real battle. Looks like we're having some fun with battle number two. Our opponent picked six Pokemon and he decided to bring some legendaries. He's got Tarachi, Palkia, Garchomp, Weebob, Mew, and Magnusone. Okay, so it's a 6v6 and he's got legendaries. So this one's going to make up for that first battle, that atrocious team that we went up against in battle number one. But let's see if we can grab ourselves some win here. This one's looking a little scary. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? Um, I feel like Clefable could be pretty solid as a nice little lead. We couldn't lead the Weather Squad, which isn't too bad. But then we gotta worry about like Palkia coming in there with like a Hydro Pump kind of ripping into me like that. A little scary, definitely a little scary. We could go uh, Clefable, but then we gotta watch out for Jirachi. Jirachi's looking a little scary. I could Intimidate turn one, maybe set up a Dragon Dance with Ambi Palm and and Gyarados. It's not looking too shabby. It's not looking too shabby. I can definitely see him leading the Weebile. But Intimidate could be a huge little player. So I'm going to go in with them too. And then, you know, since it's 6v6, click everybody else and uh, go from there. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We're going to lead the Gyarados. Try to get them set up and try to get them started here in uh, this battle. But yeah, dude, Legendaries, come on, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mag oh, of course Magnetone's the lead. Of course Magnetone's the lead. Okay, so Magnetone is going to get the lead. I think we're just going to take off Sturdy and uh, fake out the Magnetone here. And uh, probably roll into a Dragon Dance, right? This will be my play. Mew is definitely a scary little Pokemon here. Probably has a bunch of coverage moves. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. But yeah, I'm going to pick out you. Because I know you have your Rock and Electric moves. And I'm just going to Dragon Dance here. D Dance up. Let's run it. Let's run it up. Run it up. Do 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 do. And we'll see what Mew wants to do here. Mew's kind of scaring me, dude. You got, you, got, you got a Mew on your team? <laughs> Mew's terrifying. <laughs> Mew's terrifying. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. 
Maggie Stone is definitely looking a little scary too. That was the one Pokemon I didn't want him to lead, but he ends up leading it. So I'm gonna have to fake out there. Look at that damage there. That's some lovely damage. We're gonna be able to set up a nice little dragon dance here. So we got a flinch going on in the Maggie Stone slot. Um and we're gonna see what this Mew wants to do here. I feel like a waterfall should be able to take out that Maggie Stone. He's gonna go for a drain punch. That's that's looking a little scary. Did a decent amount of damage. So drain punch is gonna do a decent amount. On top of that, he gets an HP recovery. So I might U turn out. Just to get a fake out later in the match. And that might have to be my play. I just do this. And then I'm gonna say like Waterfall can potentially pick up the KO here. Seeing how much Fake Out did, like Fake Out did that much. So I'm thinking this Waterfall plus one on Dragon Dance can uh, take out, right? We do not, that's a little rough. That's a little rough, but we're gonna U-turn out of here. I'm out of here, I'm pivoting, and U-turn did a good amount of damage. So from here, if he's going for a Drain Punch, which I think he's gonna do again, I can hard swap into my Gengar. Just move, right? Gengar coming coming on out here. Love you. Love me some Gengar. So if Gengar can come out here, hopefully Gyarados can soak up a last shot, but I really don't see it happening. But we'll see. He's gonna skull. He's gonna skull. Wow. Don't burn me. Do not burn me. And he goes for a Volt Switch. Can we eat that? No shot. Okay. Dang, dude. This can go for a Dray Punch. I can bring back out Ambipom here. I'm really leaning towards... I'm really leaning towards bringing back out Ambipom. Dang, yo. There goes the Gyarados. But at least we have Magazine low on HP and he's rather on the slower side so actually we get to see who he brings out first so i can actually make my decision on top of that no fable here i think palkia's gonna come out here no it's gonna be jirachi the jirachi is flying out here which is looking, looking a little tough jirachi's coming out here and i'm thinking just going back into amy palm at this point amy palm's not too bad we could go into you going to you too hmm 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 What's my player? I go into Glasgow and try to set up Glasgow with the Sword Stance here. I don't lean towards that. Let's go Glasgow here. I'm gonna go Glasgow. Does Shirachi want to levitate? I think it does, right? Not levitate it, because I'm thinking I could just rip into a Shadow Ball here and finish off Mew, and then just Sword Stance up. And then have my Toxic Heal kind of start po poking. That's what I'm leaning towards, because I think Gengar should be able to outspeed. But if it doesn't, Ugh. If it doesn't, that's tough. Yeah, that's one place. He does outspeed. Beautiful. So, Gengar, I, I think he should be able to take out Mew here. No problem, right? Get him out of here. Cool. Okay, so we dropped the Mew and we have a Sword Dance setting up. Let's see what Jirachi wants to go for. Jirachi, what are you going for, kind sir? As long as you do not kill my Pokemon. He's going to go for a second. Can you eat this up, Gar? Probably not, right? Yeah, no. No shot. Okay, so Gengar takes out the Mew, but on top of that, we curse body that and we have Glasgow set up with a Sword Dance, which is rather nice. Which is rather nice. So he might bring out Palkia, which could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. So I might want to go into Fable at this turn and save my T-Tar for the back. There's my Poison Trigger in. We got plus two. We got Toxic Kill rolling. And Glass Force getting set up, which is beautiful. So I could go Fable. I could go back into Amy. I could go back into Amy. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think Fable wouldn't be bad. But then we got to watch out for that. Uh... I'm just going to go into you just for the fake out. I'll save my fable. I'll save my fable. But I gotta know, does Jirachi want to levitate? I don't want to look this up on my PC. You guys might hear a little like clicky clacky. Jirachi abilities. Let's see, I think it learns it. It does learn Serene Grace. But why do I feel like it has that? No, I think it just has Serene Grace. So we should be able to freely drop these EQs. And the real question is, who do I pick out? You're probably Palkia, right? I just drop this EQ? Or do I U turn out? No, we can't drop an EQ. Hmm. I don't want to kill my Amy. I really do not want to kill my Amy Palm. So I'm just going to fake out. And I'm just going to roll into... I'm just going to facade over on the slot. Let's double down to Palkia here. Let's double down to Palkia here. That's some nice damage. That's some beautiful damage. Meteor Match going to fly through. Go after my Amy Palm. He does. We... Oh, I love you. I can EQ next turn. Because I know Amy Palm uh, outspeeds. And yo, facade coming in hot. We love it, yo. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. So I'm gonna EQ this turn. I'm gonna let Ambipom go down because it's gonna go down regardless. And it outspeeds, so it should be able to get off the turn before Glassroom kills him. EQ. It's a huge turn for us to take out that Palkia. He's gonna go into Magneton now. Who does learn Levitate, doesn't it? But double hit should be able to pick up the KO. So I'm just gonna roll into this. And I'm just gonna EQ. Oh no, it doesn't. It has sturdy. It has sturdy probably. But I think it can learn Levitate. It might. I don't really know. I don't really know the abilities too well in BDSP. I don't play it as much as Sword and Shield. But Amy Palm's just gonna double hit. Should be able to take out Magazine, right? Yeah. Magazine, get on out of here. Get on out of here. And then Glass or Jirachi should go first, right? 
Oh, it's Glass Ground Speed. Yeah, Drachi goes first. He's gonna meet your match. Take out my uh No, oh, he goes after Glass Core. He goes after Glass Core and he does get that boost. He does get that attack boost, which I'm cool with. EQ's gonna fly here and it's gonna take out my Amy Palm and do some big damage on the Drachi. Love, love it. So we're playing really well right now. Especially up against legendaries, we're making some great calls. Gengar was able to do a good amount of damage. Our uh our what's called was it, or our Gyarados was able to do a lot of damage. And then we got my guys for kind of setting up here. So we could go into Fable here, but I just feel like t is going to be our play. I can protect this turn because I know he's probably going to go for a medium mash in that slot. But I just want to get the Sandstorm rolling. We got the Sandstorm boys out. We can rock out from there. Oh, everybody. So everybody's here for the Sandstorm. Everybody. Everyone's here for the Sandstorm right now. Everyone. And we're defensive bulk on my, uh, on my guys. So we should be chilling. So at this point, I think I just protect because I think medium mash is going to fly in that slot. And I just EQ. Right? EQ's gonna be my play. It's gonna be my play. But everybody's here for the Sandstorm. It affects nobody. Jirachi steal. The rest are ground and rock. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But we're gonna protect our T-Tar here. Definitely could see the Jirachi going a Meteor Mash onto that, right? Gosh, I'm just gonna Dragon Call there, too. Woo! Big time protect from Jeans? Show me a Meteor Mash. He's gonna Gleam. Okay, that's still, that works for us because we should be able to soak up a Gleam, no problem with Glasgow. Glasgow says, yo, that's a tasty snack, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, Glasgow, I love you. Glasgow's well, gonna drop the EQ. We're gonna drop Jirachi. We're gonna get off uh, probably half damage onto this guy's uh, chomp, right? Half damage on the chomp? Yeah. Almost exactly half damage. So, <laughs> good calls by me. We get rid of that Jirachi. Your boy is flying. Is this his last Pokemon? Who we take out? Magnetone, Jirachi, Mew, um, Palkia, and then he has Garchomp. And did, did we take out one more, or does he have one more? We still have one more. He might have one more. And it is gonna be Weavile. So, Weavile's gonna come out here. Um,. What do we do from here? What do we do from here? Because that ice is scaring me. That ice is terrifying me. I'm going to have to drop a rock slide here. And I guess I'll EQ. Ice is four times super effective. So if he just goes for a straight ice punch, it could be a problem. He's going to end up digging. He's going to end up digging. He's going to ice punch. Eat this? Oh, I love you. I love you, guys. Score. I love you guys, score. EQ's gonna poke here. And I was gonna say that hits Garchomp and Dig. And that's GG's. And that's GG's. EQ hits through Dig. My T-Tar was able to eat it. And we get a crit on the Wee Bob, but we love it all day. Yo, Glyscore setting up was the best play I made. Best play I made. Set that Pokemon up, have that Toxic Heal roll through, get that Sword Dance up. We were able to outbulk a Wee Bob Ice Punch and win that match. I ended up pairing up with the same exact opponent we versed in battle number two. So let's get rocking with it again. I like the good old 6v6. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys like 4v4 betters or 6v6 when it comes to BBSP? But uh, yeah, hopefully we can slap up on some legendaries again. It wasn't a bad battle. We just uh, made some great plays and got one from there. But how should we go into this one? How should we play this one? Um, he might lead the Magazine again, which I'm kind of scared of. I am kind of scared of the Magazine. Makes me kind of want to lead the Glyscore and potentially set him up. Glyscore? Do we, do we Glyscore? Glyscore and Ambipom? It'd be a lovely little start for us. Which I think I'm going to roll out into. Glasscore and Amy Palm. We're going to roll out into it and then just bring the whole squad in the back end. Let's run it. Let's get after it. Because Glasscore was definitely MVP last game. And I love me some Glasscore. I absolutely love me some Glasscore. Especially setting him up. Setting him up with the Poison Heal. Mwah, dude, it's lovely. It is lovely. The only thing I had I wish was... Uh, that What's it called? That I could have another slot for a move. I would give this thing Protect. And I might switch out Roost for Protect with that Pokemon, you know? It'd definitely be good, but yeah, we're just gonna, uh, you know, do this, and I'm just gonna fake out the Jirachi. I'm not really too worried about that, uh, that Magna Zone too much. I'm more so worried about that Jirachi, so I'm just gonna go straight after the Jirachi, fake him out, give him the old Kalapskis, and then, uh, roll out from there. Roll out from there. Because at this point, I can U-turn out with Ambipom and go into my Gyarados and drop EQs freely onto both these Pokemon. So yeah, Glasgow's gonna set up, and Glasgow's gonna be whipping in this battle, I think. He's just so good. He is just so good. Let's see what he does from here. He's going to Volt Switch out. That's totally fine. Into my Ambipom. I'm cool. Ambipom can soak. I can go for a U-turn next turn. Beautiful. I'm going to U-turn, be able to drop EQs freely, and go right into my Gyarados, right? Sounds like a beautiful play. Sounds like a lovely play for us. I like it. He's going to go into Mew. Mew, Mew, Mew. And that's actually solid because uh, my U-turn could do a decent amount of damage on the Mew. <laughs> we love it. We love it. So Sword Dance out. EQ ready to roll. We got Poison Heal ready to roll too. U-turn going to come across to the Mew. And we're just gonna swap to the Gyarados just so we do not uh, hit any of our opponent or our uh, ally Pokemon. Cool, 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 cool. So yo, I, I love winning against legendaries too. It's just so much fun. It's so it's so pleasing. You know, it's just like yo, you're using these OP Pokemon. Let me use little monkey and flying bat scorpion <laughs> and rip into you. But yeah, will you turn out? Let's get out this Gary to Gyarados. 
You get rolling. I love the squad though that I that I whipped up for you guys today. Get a little Gengar action in there, and just a lot of cool Pokemon that I really like. like you guys know I always like to use Gat. Gyarados. You guys know I always like to use Amy Palm, Blastgore. I love T-Tark. Fable was more so their support. I was going to throw Tokus, but I thought Fable would be a bit better. And then we got Gengar, who is like newly acquired and absolutely amazing. So we go into an EQ freely. We're dropping this. Jirachi might go down. No, he does not. But look at that damage. And you guys might say, yo, Gene, do you have a sword stance glass and he's not picking up the KO? There's reasoning behind it. It's because he's so bulky. Have you seen how bulky this Pokemon is? He's so bulky. On the physical defense side. So I could roost here. Uh, what do I want to do? I think I'm just like EQ and EQ and uh, I think I'm just going to Dragon Dance here. All right, Glasgow went before that Jirachi, which is good. So I should be able to Dragon. I think I'm just going to sweep this battle here, right? At this point, I'm just going to sweep this battle because that's not going to pick up the KO. And then I should be able to Dragon Dance and then EQ and then uh, BGG, right? I think it's over. I think we just won. I think it's, we're just going to end up uh, sweeping this battle. Did anyone die yet? Oh, dude, if we can sweep a six, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. EQ comes out here. That's a double kill. That's a double kill. Toxic kill is going to start thr uh, thriving out here. We I mean, might have to get off a roost. See, this is why I wish I had protect, because then I would just protect next turn and let the Toxic kill do its work. Because how much do I get back at the end of every single turn? It's a good chunk. Like, look at this chunk. 63 to 85? Woo! Little 22. So if I would have protected again, that would bring us to 107. Yeah, that's why I think I should get rid of Roost. That's why I'm thinking I should get rid of Roost. But I absolutely like this is my favorite class. Group. Defensively bulk with Sword Stance. Because once you get this Sword Stance set up, bro, game over. Game over. I wouldn't say game over, but it's just like a huge advantage. But he's constantly getting HP. He's constantly rolling out. He has Facade to do big damage. He's going to roll into Magazine at this point. Um, I know Clash Group outspeeds Magazine, doesn't he? And we Bowser coming here. Oh, God. I might have to swap my boy. Do we think that thing's sashed? Do we think that thing is sashed? I really want to sweep, so I might swap into like a... Uh, go here. Yeah, I really want to sweep. Actually, I'm going to swap into Fable. I'm going to swap into Fable, and I'm just going to waterfall you down. Actually, I'm not going to swap into Fable. I'm going to swap into uh, Gengar. The reason I, I uh, Gengar instead of Clefable is because of that... Uh, that magazine with steel moves. I'm not dealing with it. So I'm just going to waterfall across on the Weavile. I'm going to swap the Gliscor. Because I know for a fact Weavile outspeeds. And if Weavile has a Focus Ash, then he's going to be able to take out my Gliscor. And I kind of want to take a shot at this and go for a sweep. The waterfall's flying. Is that KO? He's not Sash. Wow, we could have just stayed it. We could have just, we could just swept. We could have just swept. Would have been beautiful. He's going to Volt Switch out. And that's going to KO us anyway, right? Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. We could have swept. We could have swept. I should have stayed in with my guy score. God dang it. God dang it. All right, now he's going to... I think he's forced to bring out Palkia, so I'm just going to bring a Fable at this point. I could follow me. I could go for Moonblast. I could bring out Ambipom, to be honest with you guys. I actually want to see who he's going to bring out. He's going to bring out Garchomp. Yeah. Let's go. It's going to be my play. All day. I'm going to bring out Fable. God dang it, yo. My Gyarados went down. Should have kept my guy score in there. Could have EQ'd freely, but... We went for it. We went for a different play. He's gonna bring back out Magneton. Okay, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Uh, does Garchomp outspeed my Gengar? Let me see your speed game. You know, what are you rocking with? 162. I think Garchomp's a bit faster. Let me see. Uh, let me see other people's speeds on my team. Yeah, I think. I think. Actually, I don't know. Yo, Gengar's fast, dude. Gengar's a fast little pokey. He's a fast little pokey. Uh, all right. From here, we could just drop a Shadow Ball, which I'm really digging. I'll get this Garchomp slot, and I could just follow me the shot. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna follow me the shot. See where the speed lies. I'm gonna follow me the shot. I'm gonna protect my Gengar. I still have my Focus Ash, which is great. And what is uh, what are we gonna do? We do outspeed, which is huge. He might end up digging. We know he has dig. So Shadow Ball's gonna come out here, and it chips up almost half. He's gonna go for a straight Crunch. Okay. So Crunch is just easy soaks. He was going after my Gengar, so I could just keep following me shots. Flash Cannon come out here, and this is what I was worried about with the magazine. Was this Flash Cannon? So I, I'm probably going to follow me on the shot here. I'm probably going to follow me on the shot. I will allow Fable to go down if we can keep chipping up damage. If we can keep chipping up damage like that, I can roll out from there. Yeah, so you know what? I'm just going to Shadow Ball, and I'm just going to follow me on the shot. So I'm going to allow my Fable to go down here in efforts for my Gengar to start chipping away onto this Garchomp and taking him out. Gengar's so sick. Yo, I love me some Gengar. Definitely, definitely one of the coolest Pokemon of all time. So cool. 
Hit a Greninja. I, I love Greninja. is one of my favorite. He's gonna crunch again. We're gonna be able to soak, and then Flash Hands can come across, take out our Fable, which is, which we were planning on happening. We were just chilling there. We were just like, let's follow me. Let the Fable go down. But now we have the upper hand because Garchomp is out on the field with one HP. I know my Gengar outspeeds him. We can take him out, and then we can uh, go into go into Ambi. We go into Ambi, or we can go back into Glasgow. I'm leaning towards Glasgow here. I really do like Glasgow because I know that the Gengar outspeeds. We can take out the Garchomp, no problem. And then I don't think that the uh, a, a Flash Cannon could take out my Glasgow. So we can really just uh, get some Toxic Kill HP back. Actually, I can Roost here. I am going to Roost. I'm going to Roost. I'm just going to go back up to full HP. The Shadow Ball pokes through here. Later, Garchomp. Good old 6v6 battles. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the 6v6. Get you guys a little bit of 6v6. Guys, just going to Roost and we're just going to go straight back up to full HP. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. Oh, almost full HP. We're five away, and he's gonna go for a Magnet Rise. And a Magnet Rise. That's not a bad play. It's not a bad play. But now he's Levitate. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So he can't EQ him, but I just feel like if I just facade onto the other slot, Palkia's gonna come through and just start Shadow Balling. Could be fine. If Palkia does end up coming out here, we should have speed up against it. Um, Yeah, I think I just gotta start doubling down. I could go for the Poison. Let's do more damage, and it is stab. So I'm gonna rip into that, and I'm just gonna facade. We're doubling down in Spalkia. Facade did a lot with Swords Dance in the last battle. Should be able to do a decent amount after Sludge Bomb. Oh, look at that! We'll probably take him out here, right? Side coming in hot. We do not. We do not. But so close. Spatial Rain's gonna fly through here, and what? Oh, he's giving up. He's giving up. Unless that was a misclick. He's Spatial Rain. Unless he's going after Palkia here. No, I think that might have been a misclick. That might have been a misclick. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm going to Shadow Ball, finish off the Magazine, and facade onto the slot. We know we have speed. I think that was a misclick. Because instead of misclicking, when you just want to cancel battle, I think it was a misclick. We end up taking out Magazine, and he got a crit on that. That could have been huge damage. That could have been huge damage. And then Facade's going to roll out here. Palkia, get on out of here. But yo, your boy is buzzing in BDSP. Absolutely buzzing. We're going to go 3-0 for today's video. And we're going to uh, defeat a bunch of legendaries on top of that. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another perfect record for BDSP Double Battles. Got to showcase Gengar to his fullest potential with my first time using BDSP, so that was definitely a lot of fun. Like I said, guys, we're getting a bunch of new Pokemon for BDSP. People are trading them over to me, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm getting a bunch of newbies, so I cannot wait to make some more BDSP videos for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.